Hey everyone, wanted to make a quick video to make up for the bad weather day. So essentially I've got some problems here. Feel free to pause or slow down the video, anything you need to do. First problem I have though says, if you could receive $1,000 in Taco Bell gift cards today, or $1,500 in gift cards in three years, but you know you'll spend it all on Doritos Locos Tacos, what's the present value of your future taco feast, assuming a discount rate of 10%? So here we're asked pretty directly to find the present value. We're given the rate of 10%. We're told that we're getting this in three years. We don't have a payment, but we do have a future value. We know this is gonna be worth $1,500. When I put that in, I can see today, that is worth $1,126.97. Next question says, you invest $300 in a Taco Bell loyalty program that promises to give you $100 worth of free tacos every year for five years. However, you must pay $20 annually to keep your loyalty card active. What's the net present value of your taco investment if the discount rate is 8%? So we're trying to find the net present value we're told here that we have a rate of 8%. Now we just put in the values. Now we're getting $100 every year, but we have to pay $20 each year as well. So I'm gonna use $80, and we're told we're getting this five times. So we can enter that in, and then outside of this calculation, I'm gonna subtract the $300 that I had to invest in order to reach this, uh, loyalty program, that gives me a net present value of $19.42. My next question says, you take out a loan of $2,000 to buy a lifetime supply of Taco Bell hot sauce packets to be repaid over four years with annual payments of $600. What is the annual interest rate of your spicy loan? So to solve this, I'm gonna be using the rate function I'm gonna put in the number of periods. I'm told this is four years since I have annual payments that leave it at four. I have a payment given to me and the problem is $600. And then finally, I'm told that I'm taking this loan out of $2,000. That is my present value. That's what I'm getting today. So I'm enter that as an outflow. Verify that this is gonna give me an annual rate. So we have four, which is four years. $600 is an annual payment. So that tells me that's going to be an annual rate of 7.71%. My next question says, you borrow $1,500 to fund your dream of opening a Taco Bell themed food truck to be repaid over three years with annual payments of $550. What is the annual interest rate of your taco truck loan? So to solve this, I'm going to be using the rate function because we're trying to find the rate. Number of periods, I'm told this is three years. Since we have annual payments for those three years, I leave it at three. Payment is given and the problem is $550. And we're gonna enter in the amount we're borrowing, which is $1,500 as an outflow, because that's what we're borrowing today. That's the present value. Since my inputs are annual, my annual percent rate is gonna be 4.92%. My next question says, how many years will it take for your investment of $500 in Taco Bell stock to grow to $1,500 if the annual interest rate is 12%? Assuming you don't need all your uh, profits in the tacos. So essentially what I have here is I'm trying to figure out how long it's gonna take me to reach $1,500 with a one-time investment of 500. So to solve that, I can use the number of periods function put in my rate, which is given to me as 12%. And we're told this compounds annually, so we leave it at 12. We don't have a payment, but we do have, however, a present value given to us as 500. And we're ultimately trying to reach 1500. So since we're trying to reach the 1500, we don't have it today. That's the future value. Enter that in as an outflow. And that tells you it's gonna take about 9.69 years to reach that. Next question says, you invest $1,000 into a Taco Bell savings account that promises to earn 50% APR. 
How many years will it take for your investment to grow to $8,000? So essentially what I'm doing here is I'm trying to once again figure out, hey, how many years is this going to take that to grow? To do that, I can use the number of periods function. Rate is given to me in the problem, 50%. Now we just assume it's annually compounding, so we leave it at 50. We don't have a payment here, but what we do have is we have $1,000 today that we're investing. And we're trying to have that grow to 8000 so I'm going to enter that 8,000 in as the future value as an outflow. It tells me that in about five years, I will have earned $8,000. Next question says, if you invest $1,000 in a Taco Bell savings account that earns 5% each month, how much money will you have after five years? Read this question carefully. The rate you're given is not actually an APR. It's growing 5% every month, not 1 12th of 5%. So basically, to solve this, I'm trying to figure out how much money I'll have after five years. That's cluing me in to use the future value function. I'm going to put the rate in as 5% because that's the rate given. We're told we're doing this every month, so that's going to be 5 times 12 for the number of periods. Okay. And now I don't have a payment given, but I just have a one-time present value, and that's $1,000. I'm going to enter that in as an outflow there. That yields me $18,679. This is going to grow to after just five years. Final question says, it's Taco Tuesday. So you take out a loan to buy a lifetime supply of Taco Bell for $50,000 to be repaid over 10 years at an APR of 6% monthly compounding. What's your monthly payment? So to solve this, I'm trying to figure out the payment. So I'm gonna use the payment function. Rate is given in the problem 6%. Monthly compounding divided by 12. Number of periods is given to me in the problem as being 10 years since I'm making monthly payments. That's 10 times 12. And I'm taking out a loan of 50,000. That is gonna be my present value. Enter that as an outflow gives me a monthly payment, $555.10. So I hope that was helpful for you. Hope you have a great rest of your day.